Hey guys and uh, welcome. This is going to be a very short video about how to add images to emails inside P2 Distinction. Now you might be thinking, well that clearly should be quite simple to do, but you may be surprised to find out we do get asked a lot on the Facebook group about how to actually do this. The reason people ask is because when you go to add an image, it asks for a source. So what is a source? Well, a source is the location of which that image is stored. Most websites have uh, an area of stored images. So whenever you view that image on a website, what it's actually doing is taking that URL, it's finding that URL, and then showing it to you through the browser, and that's how you get to see it. PT Distinction doesn't have its own storage area for these images, so you to store it yourself. Basically, you store that image somewhere, and then you take the URL, add that into that little source box, and then it will show up inside your email. Now, you might think, well, where can I store images? There are a number of places to do it. You spell to use Dropbox, but they've changed some of their rules and regulations now, so you can't actually have public shared links. You can use things like Google Drive as well, but you have to set up quite a few things in terms of sharing to do that. I'm going to tell you the easiest and simplest way to do it. The easiest and simplest way is just to use your own website. It doesn't matter whether you use Wix, Squarespace, or anything like that. It all works in the same way. If you're using Wix or, or Squarespace or something like that, just set up a hidden page, put all your images on there, and all you need to do is right-click with your mouse, copy URL, and use that. If you use a WordPress site, you're in luck because you actually do have storage in WordPress that you can access all those images from. Uh, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to add stuff to that without actually having to add it to your website. And I can take that URL and use it inside P2 Distinction. But then again, it doesn't matter what site you use, the principle is still the same. Store it online one way or another, copy the URL for that image, and add it into the source box. So let's take a look at how, one of the ways of how we can do this. So already here, I've got my um, screen opened up for PTD, and I'm gonna go and click on the Add Image button here. You see we've got the source, the image description, and dimensions. So let's start adding this in. Like I mentioned already, if you've got another place to um, store your images, right click, get the image, and add it into that. So for example, if I show you on my website, we'll go onto it, you can right click, you can see the different options here. You're gonna go Copy Image Address, head over to Peter Distinction, and then you will just paste that in there. Then you have your dimensions. It will show the average dimensions of that particular image. Make sure this box is changed here where it says constraint proportions. That means if you change one of these, it will keep the ratios the same. If you untick that box, the ratios won't stay the same and it might look a bit strange and, and weird when you put it in. If you just click OK, you'll see that image has now been added into my email. So I'm just gonna delete that out of the way. The other option is if you're using something like WordPress, uh, to store it inside your media area. So if we go to our WordPress dashboard, you'll notice down the side you have a media button and you have a library. You can click add new to add new stuff to your library or you can click library to view. I'll go and view your library here. You can click the add new button and then you can actually store your images in here. Uh, and if I wanna add any of these images to my email, all I've got to do is find the image I want to add. So maybe it's uh, this picture here. I can look at that see the image, and I can copy the URL from here directly. And I can go and paste that into my source box instead. And there's the dimensions in there. I can also give it image description, so if I'm sending a plain text email out or the client wants to view it in plain text, I can just put that image description, a short description of what that image actually is, hit OK, and then there's that image appeared inside the email ready to go out. That works exactly the same way uh, whether you're setting up your emails as well. So if you want to uh, go into options and add in a header and a footer, it all works exactly the same way if you want to add those in as well. And that's it. That's it, guys. That's how you add in images to uh, Peter Distinction emails. See you soon.